एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू बिग शॉट टॉक्स आई एम अवंतिका एंड टुडे वी हैव अ वेरी स्पेशल गेस्ट विद अस एज यू ऑल नो इन आवर लास्ट एपिसोड्स वी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट मीडिया इंडस्ट्रीज क्रिएटिव इंडस्ट्रीज एंड मेनी अदर थिंग्स व्हिच ऐड वेरी वेल टू लाइफ कॉमर्स सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू एक्सप्लोर वन सच मोर इंडस्ट्री व्हिच इज द रिटेल एंड वी कैन हैव नो वन बेटर देन मिस्टर दिनेश मालपानी विद अस टू डिस्कस इट ही हैज स्पेंड three decades in the industry and has actually seen the revolution from big motor store to re- online shopping and many other things so today we are going to discuss what could be the possible future of the industry and how live commerce can add to it so welcome mr dinesh malpani hello dinesh thank you so much first of all for your time and coming to the show how are you doing um i'm very well avantika thanks for calling me for the show it's uh, something which uh, i always look forward to talk to you all and uh, see how things are really emerging so nice to be with you all. thank you again of course and we are very excited everyone watching is also excited i already have my notepad handy because i'm sure i'm going to get a lot of points to note and i also advise everyone watching that keep your notepads with you you're going to get a lot of points for futures and your works here So Adinish uh, I've uh, already yeah, thank you so much so I've already full for everybody ah uh, yes sure and I've already given a small introduction but since you yourself are here and everyone would like to know your story directly from you ah uh, okay so um, I started pretty young when I was still in college uh, I come from a gemstone family uh, all my uh, uh, parents uncles chachas everybody are into this business across the globe and um, i was born and bred in tamil nadu wanted to be a doctor i was a ra- rank holder in my uh, 12th grade and when my family came to know about it uh, they immediately whisked me away from trichy where i was born and bred and uh, i was put into a family gemstone business uh, because of which i was i used to travel across the globe and and do a family business uh, during that time which was early 90s is when i started traveling and that's the time when i really started picking up my love and affection for retail i used to visit malls and stuff like that that's that's how it really started and one fine day i told my parents that i don't like uh, the gemstone business and i want to get started on retail so that's how the the journey started it was early early 90s uh, there were just a few companies in india and right, i was right. there, fortunately right so like you said you have been the part of retail industry from early 90s so you have actually witnessed the change from big motor stores to online transition and how users uh, have gone from offline stores to online stores as well so how do you feel uh, the user behavior has changed over the years and also the industry uh see one of from a from a consumer standpoint what has really changed is uh, today's consumers have become extremely discerning uh so right. they would not take anything for granted and they they look at things in a very holistic fashion so to give an example a consumer who's wanting to consume a brand they want to understand is the brand uh, responsible is the brand sustainable is the brand having the right uh, business practices are right. they uh, doing the right things for the business or not that's when they really want to associate this is a very big shift which has happened in the last say 25 30 years uh, people are extremely discerning about what they're consuming and what kind of companies they are really dealing with so that's right. a big, big shift second big shift which has happened is that uh, uh, the the lines between physical world and digital world uh, world are completely blurred now so it's which one uh, we can't really draw a line now saying that okay this is uh, digital and this is physical any business today right. including retail has to be omni channel there is no other option and unless right. until an organization makes the transition they're not ready for today's consumer so uh, one the consumer is centric towards what he or she wants so she wants a brand to be designed around him or her uh brand service product everything to be designed around him or her second right. uh technology has become a very integral part of business there are right. no more two worlds there is no it's not a digital world also it's it's one you just can't distinguish now anymore right yeah so you actually mentioned two points here the first one is that users are very specific about a brand today they want them to be uh, customized for them they want to have an experience with a brand not just purchase a product and use it and just forget it right and so we understand that a brand story or a product story plays a very important role here right and with live commerce tech peg is trying to do the same we are trying that brands uh, tell their own story their own product story directly to the users 
so how do you feel uh, that live commerce could be a good choice or how it can be implemented by retail industries to give a better user experience to their users uh, i think this is a very large question i think i'll try to answer this in about two three subheads uh, yeah. if you look at say more from a uh, supply chain standpoint uh, the existing supply chain which has been there for the last uh, uh, many decades is that you have a manufacturer then it uh, the, the product goes to a cnf agent Right. And from there it goes to a distributor, and from there it goes to a retailer, and then from it there it uh, goes to the consumer. Right. Now this used to be very; it is a pretty uh, lengthy uh, supply chain, yeah. and uh, there are a lot of inefficiencies in this. So many times a range of products are not available. Sometimes the products are available. Distributors sometimes do an average job of uh, distributing the products. Companies do not have proper manufacturing forecasts. Mm -hmm. uh, so there is always inefficiencies in this. So one of the big things which uh, I feel is going to be transformative which is already happening right now is every brand will want to reach out to consumer directly so right. they're not going to be dependent on this kind of a value chain at least right. for categories which are not sure and repetitive so True. this is a very big shift where a brand can reach out using technology and i would say the social media social commerce or live commerce i think these are the two big things which enables a brand to be able to reach out to its consumer right so therefore the brand can control its destiny right right so this is a big shift so if it's a if it's a young brand uh, it does not uh, really want to go through this entire process of following this classic distribution model it can still reach out to its target audience across the globe right uh, through the d2c model which can be enabled by live commerce right so right. that's a very big shift which is going to be disruptive in the entire supply chain so a brand controls its destiny by right. reaching out to its consumer uh, uh, and its geography agnostic so geography is history now so that's right. one important piece second what's happening with the consumers is that uh, anything for consumers there are two shift set of shopping one which is a chore repetitive non value added stuff so you want to buy potatoes you want to buy onions you want to buy your dal sabzi and milk that is something right. chore repetitive which i believe that over a period of time uh, will be taken over by subscriptions so systems will be smart enough to be able to replenish your homes True. and your then your refrigerators so right. more repetitive shopping will be out uh, which will be again maybe a, a mix of physical and digital but uh, something which is experiential you want to experience a brand you want to know about a product it could be cosmetics it could be jewelry it could be uh, healthcare it could be any services also which has got explanation to be done that's where i think brands will have to build trust right True. Uh, to build trust they need to be able to engage with the customers and talk to them in a very honest fashion right right the right. uh, that's that's one experience which is going to be transformative and this experience can be possible through live commerce so assume there's a brand a which is uh, uh, very responsible uh, which wants to change say uh, or introduce a, a fabric which is uh, uh, made out of uh, recycled plastic now right the brand to be able to reach out to its Uh, customers to a classic model will would never work right of course but this a d2c model will surely work now in d2c if they got the right people to talk about the brand the ethos the product which could be influencers or the who would be called them and if they're able to tell the story to their target audience you would actually have a great relationship a relationship which can be built for lifetime right and right. customers would actually become the brand ambassadors so right uh, for me live commerce is the catalyst which is actually going to make this big large disruption where True. the brand can tell its own story and build a trustworthy relationship with its consumers with the right, right balanced influencer who's able to speak about the brand in a very true and honest fashion so that also should be uh, slightly independent of the brand the the influencer has his or her own credibility right It's not the the flashy stars who just come in and ads and go off these are people who put their reputation at stake they they put their name at stake so it's a very credible value chain a great manufacturer right. of brand you have somebody who speaks about it very honestly yes. and you have people who have got a similar thought process for the brand or the service uh, to consume it so i think this can be enabled through live commerce so according to me live commerce for anything which is non chore uh, right. repetitive uh would be mainstream uh in the next 5 to 10 years in the next 5 years i feel that it will be mainstream 
right so i guess you have summed everything in this answer itself like how retention and engagement is very important for a brand because now it's not just about getting users it's about creating your own story with them creating a brand impression and actually retaining and engaging uh, with them better and uh, i guess we have already started uh, started getting the essence of rise of d2c industries where the brands now want to directly connect with their users and in, they have to just you know they don't want anyone coming in between that long and lengthy chains right and of course like you said live commerce is the best way to connect directly with your users and tell your own stories in your own words so i guess you have uh, it's of course a lengthy question but you have framed it so well and we have actually got the complete gist of how retail and live commerce will be saying uh, like you said most probably in 5 years in the next coming 5 years right so i would just like to know one more thing that with all these changes in the industry right how do you feel that users have also changed in the past years so as i said users are ahead of the curve Uh, users are uh, probably ahead of all the organizations. Uh, so, if you look at the classic retail setup which we see today, or even the e-commerce operators, uh, they are way behind. Uh, the video consumption, content consumption is at all-time high. Uh, right. Consumers are pretty discerning about what kind of content they want to really consume. Uh, consumers are also very clear that what kind of life they want to lead and what kind of products and services they want to consume. Right. Now, if organizations are able to deliver that they would actually leap frog so it's more a catching up game which i feel uh, all companies need to do and uh, using the right kind of uh, say technologies and processes which need to come in so according to me uh, organizations need to catch up right, consumers right. are there uh, but video content is going to be extremely important uh, going right. forward right. and uh, honest content uh, delivered by brands to its consumers is going to be transcendent so quickly companies need to find a way to be able to catch up onto this right uh, so uh, correct me if i'm wrong uh, you mean to say that content is equally important with any tech and product which they are uh, giving to their users right giving the right content and presenting it the, in the right way yeah so consume as as i told you consumers are extremely discerning now <laughs> right. consumers need to be able to trust the brand right and to trust the brand they need to have the right content and the content right. being delivered by the right people so right uh, content is going to be equally important when i say content it's about the honesty in this entire equation of becoming uh, an integral part with the consumer's life so right. uh, that can only happen when you have time enough to be able to engage with the brand or with the influencer understand the brand and the ethos exactly so exactly. content is extremely important and when i say content it needs to be very honest and true right right even a deck pack we believe the same and that is the reason whenever we present ourselves we present in a complete package we believe that only tech is not going to solve the issue only tech is not going to help you connect with your uh, better content plays an equally important role or i would say it actually pay, uh, plays a bigger role because okay. that so i believe that deck packs technology piece needs to be integral with every company going forward so live commerce is going to be uh, integral to any business which is yeah. non chore and non repetitive so that's how i i see it moving forward the sooner organizations really uh, catch up onto this uh, uh, channel it's okay. better uh, coming to content as i told you one the content has to be very honest because people today uh, are very discerning so they do not want to get okay. refresh stuff or uh, Uh, very preachy They're kind very of smart content. Today. content. They're very smart today. They're very smart. They know right. to read through things. The content right. needs to be very honest, and it needs to be given by the right credible people. So the the content piece becomes very very crucial. Right, right. Completely agree, Dinesh. So it's actually been amazing getting all the points. You have you know make it sound so simple for everyone that anyone you know listening it will get it directly. And before we uh, close this up, since a lot of people watching here are from the, I would say Gen Z uh, category, and they would actually like to know that if they plan to enter in this retail industries, what all challenges they can uh, hope to face in the futures, and for what all things they should be ready. Um, see, if you look at from a India st uh, story standpoint, uh, the opportunity in uh, retail is is endless. It's it's going to be. the largest right. population it it has got the youngest uh, population in the world yeah. uh, it has got uh, 5g uh, more or less is uh, on the anvil uh, video content consumption has become uh, all time high we are seeing smartphones 
so right. uh, the way businesses uh, are were done uh, to what it is now it's a completely new era so for all young people uh, they need to feel fortunate because they are entering into a new era where they can start more or less with a very fresh uh, or a clean slate so right. build a tech enabled or a tech first uh, approach that's one second build a brand which is trustworthy right and, right. and also solves a problem for the world it's just not uh, a product but it it is responsible it is sustainable it solves a problem for the world right and third is that do it very very honestly so do not try and change it so if if all the youngsters are able to pick these kind of ideas uh, the the broad parameters and then they pick solutions which they want to really solve um right. it is a clean slate it's uh, sky is the limit for all all the young uh, bright minds sure sure definitely dinesh since now like we have mentioned again and again users are very smart so the brands have actually they have to become smarter and be very honest when they present themselves because now uh, even from a user point of view we have lot of options to search and to review video content everything is available so it's very important we be honest and provide the right content to our users true true right thank you so much dinesh it was amazing talking to you and like i said i already have lot of points noted down and i hope our users have done the same and thank you again i hope we'll be connecting in future again and actually you know experiencing this revolution and being a part of it uh, it was a pleasure being with you all uh, and hope it helps everybody sure thank and you so much for deck tag you're doing uh, some awesome stuff and i think thank you uh, it's going to be path breaking uh, we will right, be like... excited to uh, follow how deck tag uh, progresses from here sure sure like you said dinesh we are trying to provide the best content and the tech and being very honest with our users that's our main motive here to provide engagement and better retentions to our brand now i'm pretty impressed or mighty impressed by what you all are doing and uh, it's just the start uh, it's a it's going Definitely. to be a exciting journey for you people i hope for sure for my best wishes my best wishes thank you so much again thank you so much thanks thanks avandika nice talking to you same here dinesh thank you so much see you we'll be back with more such amazing people and more amazing and interesting talks stay tuned do like subscribe and follow thank you mm-hmm.